You put on this video wondering why you should be using Lodash in your project. The quick answer is, if you don't like having to deal with tedious implementation details on a daily basis, then start using Lodash today. I'm Gemma, I'm a software engineer exploring the vast world of JavaScript one module at a time. And today I wanted to talk about Lodash and why you should start sprinkling it in to any of your projects. So a quick rundown about Lodash. What is it exactly? Well, according to the package's website, Lodash is a modern JavaScript utility library delivering modularity, performance, and extras. But what this means to me is that Lodash is just a collection of clean, performant, and well-tested functions that simplify the development process by abstracting away common, often repetitive tasks. But let's put this into context. So let's say I wanted to make a constant called Rihanna. And inside this object, we would have her age and her occupation and another field just to give some information to this object. So now that we have our object, let's say that we want to remove one of these fields. There are different approaches, but let's say that we wanted to use destructuring to take out the releasing new album key, and that will leave us with the ability to rest out the other fields like age and occupations and we put that inside a new variable called updated Rihanna. So if we print out updated Rihanna, then we should see that we're dealing with a new object that doesn't have releasing new album, because that's not true. So as you can see here, we're left with the age and occupations key while we remove the releasing new album key. This just goes to show that there's so many different approaches that can be taken to do simple, tedious tasks like data manipulation. So let's look at how we can remove a key but using Lodash. So we're going to go back into our file and then import the omit function from the Lodash package. The name might be giving it away, but the omit function takes in an object and then you can specify an array of strings which keys you want to omit from the specified object. So instead of using the structuring and then a spread notation, what we can do is just pass in Rihanna into the omit function and then specify that we want to remove releasing new album. So now we have a different solution that's well tested, equally as performant, and arguably easier to read without having to expose an unnecessary variable. So if we go back to our terminal and rerun this file, we'll see that we have the same output. We have the same solution, but the benefit of doing this is that we pushed away the ownership of having to deal with this data manipulation to a well-maintained package. So there's less of a responsibility on individual developers and more responsibility of the code owners and maintainers of the Lodash package, which is great. Now that we know what Lodash is, we can start seeing some benefits, but there are a couple more things that I find really beneficial about the package that you should know about. The first thing is human readability. One of my favorite aspects of Lodash is that it provides human readable solutions to implementation details. Their functions are explicitly named, making it easy for developers to read through code that uses this library. Just to show you what I mean by this, I'm gonna go through some functions and see if you know what these functions mean by just looking at their name. So first function is times. Times is a function that calls a specified iterate or callback function and number of times. So let's say that I wanted to console log statement x amount of times, I can specify the number of times with my constant shout count and then pass that variable into my times first argument and then my second argument would be the callback, the anonymous arrow function with embezzle. So if we run this in our terminal, we can see that the phrase embezzle gets printed out three times. So the next function is compact. Compact takes in an array and returns a new array that's written of any falsy values, meaning that's going to return an array that doesn't have any false values, any zeros, nulls, or undefined. So I'm going to pass in my array called messy array that has a combination of a false value, undefined, a couple strings, and zero. And I'm going to pass that into compact and it's going to return back to me a clean version of messy array where all of the falsy values have been removed. So if we run this in our terminal, we'll see that we have now a cleaned array. Next function is difference. Difference takes in two arrays and checks to see whether all of the values in the first array ever appear in the second array. 
and if a value in the first array doesn't appear in the second array, then it will be a part of the final array that's returned from the difference function. Let's say that we have an array called first, and it contains start and what, and we have a second array called second, and it contains stop and what. The final array should only contain start. If we run that, we'll see that start is the only item in the array. So even though they might not be apparent at first, after reading through documentation and using them periodically throughout your application, you start to notice that Lodash's explicit naming convention encourages developers to be more clear and declarative with their name conventions and coding practices. Another great thing about the Lodash package is that you're not giving up performance when introducing these well-contained, well-tested functions that are almost equally as performant as native implementations. There have been so many benchmark tests out there, but one that I've linked in the description box below compares the Lodash implementation of the array's map function and the native implementation of the array object's map function. And Lodash was fairly comparable to the native implementation solution. But I think with all of these great things that come with Lodash, it's always important to have a critical eye about these packages. If you look through the Lodash documentations, you'll most definitely run into functions that make you wonder, why would I ever need to use this? But besides some of these weird, odd functions, I personally find that Lodash is a great utility package that provides human readability and safely bound functions that serve as consistent and high confidence solutions to common implementation details that developers face on a daily basis. And this has been why you should be using Lodash. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more JavaScript related content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.